I am very involved, and I unfortunately work with a group of people on a regular basis who let me be involved. Um, the, um, the great thing about working with Josh Schwartz um, and Stephanie Savage, who are the, the uh, creators and showrunners of, um, of uh, Chuck and Gossip Girl, which are my, uh, two of my primary shows, they, they've allowed me a lot of freedom in trying things. I'll oftentimes hear a song. That I did an episode of uh, Gossip Girl last year. I heard a song on the radio called Embers by Just Jack. I was really intrigued with the song and called my editor and said I wanted to, to use it as kind of a reference point throughout the episode and ask him to talk to Alex Pitsavis, who's our music supervisor and also a very good friend of mine. Um, I asked him to talk to her about getting the instrumental tracks so that we could use the instrumental tracks as a build, build it into the score. And so by the time we reach the, the song itself, or we feature the song itself, we've already been, been um, predisposed to accept the song as part of the, as part of the uh, score of the, of the show. So I've been very fortunate in the fact that I've worked with people who've given me a lot of freedom in that regard. Something that we, um, that we did a lot of on the OC, um, um, finding a song that was kind of thematic for the episode and then um, getting the instrumental tracks and stripping out the vocals and just using that so that you're not playing dialogue over, over a lyric, uh, but then building it in such a way that it, it feels organic. And uh, I don't really, I, it's possible that other people were doing that before we started doing that on the OC, but I don't remember anybody else doing that. It was just kind of a, a brainstorm I had one day. I thought, oh, this song is so great, but the lyrics are getting in the way. If I could just get the tracks without the lyrics. And um, Alex uh, um, Petsavis just started sending me the instrumental tracks <laughs> that she knew I would like. I tended to like certain kinds of music, but um, particularly if I run into problems on a scene, if I'm editing or if I'm um, directing something, and then when I get into the editing room later, if, if a scene is not working, I'll oftentimes say, let's just try a completely different piece of music. Let's just put something up, up here who, that, that will kind of maybe make us look at it in a different way. And oftentimes that will lead you down another path. It will it will make you see something different that perhaps you hadn't seen before.